Hi everyone, today's evening headlines. Akim issues directive to shops and food manufacturers. Stop this madness, Naga Mothers Association condemn violence against women in Manipur. Rapists should be given harshest punishment, says Central Nagaland Women Association President. Heart shoulder construction along Koima Jesema Road in Nagaland underway, says NHIDCL. Nagaland Business Community supports poultry union in fight against syndicate system. News in details. AKM issues directive to shops and food manufacturers. Having noticed that various shops are selling tobacco products and other abusive substances in close proximity to educational institution, our students' conference has directed all the shops to cease the sale of such items within a 100-meter radius of any educational institution as per the Cigarettes and Other Tobacco Products Act, 2003 Section 6B in Mokuchung District. Failure to comply with the notification would result in legal action being pursued against the shops and any other remedies available under the law. Stop this madness, Naga Mothers Association condemns violence against women in Manipur. Hundreds of Naga women gathered at the police headquarters junction in Koima on Saturday to show their solidarity with the people of Manipur, condemn the atrocities against women and censor criminal acts like burning of houses and religious places. The participants also prayed for peace to prevail in the violence hit Manipur during the program organized by eight Apex Tribal Women Organization of Nagaland. Adorn in their traditional attires, the participants condemned the crime against women and mothers in Manipur, particularly the two women who were paraded naked, one of whom was reportedly raped by a mob. Rapists should be given harshest punishment, says Central Nagaland Women Association President. Against the backdrop of women being raped and paraded naked in the Manipur state, the president of Central Nagaland Women Association, Atoli Sema, has demanded the harshest punishment for rapists. I want to call upon the country rulers that there should be a strict rule for punishing the rapists. They should be killed. They should be burned alive. What they are doing to the women, the same thing should be done to the accused. Atoli told the reporters on the sidelines of the solitary prayer for violence against women and unrest in Manipur, held at the Nagaland Police Headquarters Junction in Koima on Saturday. Hard shoulder construction along Koima Jesema Road in Nagaland underway, says NHIDCL. The National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited has updated that the construction of hard shoulder along the two lane Koima Jesema Road on the National Highway 29 in Nagaland is currently underway. The project was awarded on March 17, 2020 and the appointed date was July 1, 2020. As per the NHIDCL project progress update, the original date of completion was June 30, 2022 but is likely to be completed only by August 31, 2023. Nagaland business community supports poultry union in fight against syndicate system. As the indefinite ban on the import of live chickens from Assam to Nagaland entered the second day, the Dimapur Chamber of Commerce and Industry has extended support to the poultry union Dimapur in the fight against the syndicate system, saying that such unfair trade practices will deprive the local poultry traders and farmers of their profit margin and ultimately their very likelihood. The allegation made by the poultry union Dimapur about a syndicate system operating in the neighboring state of Assam with regard to import of live chicken into Nagaland is indeed alarming, said the DDCI. That's all for now. To guess the status, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.